Hi, I'm Pat Tucker. I'll be your anaesthetist when you have your procedure with Dr. Weinrack. This is our operating theatre where, um, where you'll come in and go to sleep. Just a couple of things um, that you can do to um, get yourself better prepared before you come to the operating theatre. One of them is obviously stop smoking or at least cut down if you do smoke. If you are a little bit on the larger side then lose, losing a little bit of weight always does help as well. And if you're taking any um, medications like fish oil, krill oil, glucosamine, um, garlic or ginseng, then stop those 10 days before. Any other medications, have a chat to either your GP or Dr. Weinreck or myself about before you stop them, okay? Um, now, so when you first come in here, we'll put a few monitors on. We'll put this monitor on, monitor on, which is what we call the BIS monitor, which goes on your forehead. That gives us a number of how asleep you are, so we make sure that you are fully anaesthetised. Um, we also put the blood pressure cuff on, the ECG, a little probe on your finger, which shows us how much oxygen you've got in your blood. Then we'll give you some nice relaxing drugs and pop you off to sleep. Almost all of the patients um, that we do with Dr. Weinberg have a general anaesthetic. Um, if you do want something apart from a general anaesthetic, please discuss that with us beforehand and we'll see how we can accommodate it. Um, so, yeah, as you're going off to sleep, you'll get a bit of oxygen, then you'll get some medication, go off to sleep. Dr. Weinberg will do your procedure. At the other end, we'll wake you up and pop you out into recovery, which is just across the road here. Um, when you do wake up, you may have a bit of pain initially. Dr. Weinrack puts a lot of local anaesthetic into your hip wound. Um, that's the mainstay of the pain relief for afterwards. I also give you some other painkillers though, but initially when you do first wake up, you may have a bit of pain and may need some more analgesia out in recovery. So if that happens, um, that's fine and yeah, know that that is quite common. The other common things when you do wake up, you may also feel a bit nauseous, may vomit. We'll give you something to try and prevent that during the procedure. And if you need any more medication for that, we'll give you some more, just ask the nurses if, if you do feel at all nauseous. Um, and then also you may have a bit of a sore throat when you wake up from where the breathing tube's gone down. Now I'll endeavour to give all of you guys a call beforehand so that I can go through your medical history and just to discuss um, what, again, what to expect and possible risks associated with the procedure. Um, so if, if you haven't heard from me and you do want to speak to me, just um, get in contact through, with me through Dr. Weinrack's rooms. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'll see you on the day. Thank you.